Hello, hello, and how are you? My name is Andrew Vierkamp. I am the librarian here at Galveston College, and I am doing the great honor of introducing y'all to our newest resource highlight, uh, Health and Wellness by Gail. We're creating these monthly resource highlight videos to showcase the different databases that you all have access to as members of Galveston College. Each month, a resource highlight video will be included in our Lit News Library newsletter and uploaded to our YouTube page. Today's resource highlight is focused on one of our newest and more exciting databases, Health and Wellness by Gale. A few highlights of this database. The front page always comes chock full of recommended topics of interest to help give you a jumping off point into your research. Uh, they have over 382 topics to choose from overall, so a wide selection in the field of health and wellness, um, as well as full text original reference works uh, created by Gale, including the Gale Encyclopedia of Medicine and the Gale Encyclopedia of Surgery, amongst others. Uh, this database, with this database, you'll have full access of academic journals newspapers, magazines, and more to help you with your reference. So let's take a look. If we head here to the Galveston College homepage, you'll just head all the way to the bottom, and click on Library, and then from here, you have the ability to find the database list in a couple different ways. You can select the A to Z database list option here, you can come over to the side under Quick Links where it says A to Z databases, or you can hit Find Library Resources and on that drop down menu, select Search Databases. Uh, from here, we'll click on each, trim these down a bit, and we'll select our newly added resource, Health and Wellness by Gale. Galveston College students, faculty, and staff have access to Gale Health and Wellness through our Membership in the TechShare program, organized by the Texas State Library and Archives Commission. So let's take a look at what Health and Wellness by Gale has to offer. Um, this database is broken down on the home page in a very intuitive way. Uh, the database not only gives you the option to search for a specific research topic, but it also recommends different topics of interest uh, to help kind of give you an idea of what all is on here. If we select um, down here the different popular topics that have been introduced, let's do uh, COVID-19, an overview article will pop up, followed by different types of information on the subject matter. You can see that there are reference materials along with uh, scholarly articles from the academic journals, um, and in addition, the database also offers articles from magazines, newspapers, um, as well as videos and images from around the internet. Let's click on Academic Journals and take a look at what comes up. So for your research, you'll want to be sure to only use reputable academic sources, unless instructed otherwise by your professor. The Gale database interface makes the search process seamless because you can select different options like peer review journal. And that will narrow down your options to only include those articles that have gone through the peer review process. In the same area, you can also adjust the different subjects, the document type, and the publication title in order to also narrow down your options a bit more, as well as the publication date. Um, you can change that range in case you're looking for more recent articles, for instance. And you can also use this option to search within to help pare down uh, only articles that have things that you're interested in. Okay, so let's say that you know you need to do a research paper, but you haven't chosen a topic yet. Uh, maybe you're unsure of what to choose, or maybe you just want to browse around and see if something catches your eye before you start a real big deep dive. Let's go back to that homepage and scroll to the bottom where we can select browse all topics this gives you a nice layout of everything health and wellness by gail has to offer and as you can see it's it's quite intense it's quite extensive um, selecting any of these do anger management 
will take you to the now familiar topic overview page and will also give you a few examples of material on the subject. For a more specific search, you can, click, you can click Advanced Search next to the search bar there. And from here, you can really narrow down the parameters of your research by either adding or taking away different keywords. Um, in addition, you'll have the ability to apply those same limiters that you saw earlier on the top of the page. But doing this from the get-go helps save you a lot of time sifting through stuff later down the line. So, okay, for example, let's do, let's do fever and rash, but not flu. And then we'll select peer review journals and keep this as full text documents. And we can change the date range. Let's do between 2003 and 2023, academic journals, and search. Very nice. So we came up with well over 1,000 academic journals, different articles. Let's choose this top one, just for example. When ration fever become an emergency. Great article, terrifying title. Um, <laughs> let's go over, from here, let's go over some of the uh, key tools that you can use to make the research process easier. Up here in this top bar, we have a few different options. Uh, this first one is citations. Maybe the biggest helpful thing on this database. Uh, for almost everything you write about in college, you're going to need to cite your sources. In this case, let's select APA 7th edition. And here you'll see that an automatic citation is generated. Always make sure to double check all of your citations. Uh, machines can make mistakes, and sometimes these automatic citations aren't fully complete or correct. You can always copy and paste the citation directly into your document, or you can choose to export it to something like OneDrive, which I have here. I can show you the example, Gale Health and Wellness. Citations, a few seconds ago. Um, send to, download, and print are all pretty self-explanatory. Uh, the options allow you to email yourself the article or send it straight to your OneDrive, um, download the article directly to your computer, and of course, the option to print. GitLink is a great resource if you need to come back to this page. Instead of copying and pasting this behemoth of search terms, you can always copy this permanent link and it'll take you straight back to this article. No must, no fuss. And finally, the highlights and notes section. So I've already got a highlight on there from earlier, <laughs> but I'll show you why it's so cool. So down here, you can select anything here. You can choose a color. And then you can add a note, refer back to later. And just like that, it saves your highlight. And here at the top, you can select this option. And it shows you everything that you've talked about. In addition, it also gives you a nice citation here that you can use if you're going to quote uh, something you've annotated in your paper later. All right, let's take a look at these accessibility tools. So this is something that we're all very grateful to Gale for doing with their databases. They try to make it as accessible as possible with the resources that they have. So right out of the gate, they have an automatic translation uh, option. So if you wanted to switch this to, to German, for instance, Bang. It gives you just a quick uh, preview of the first couple paragraphs, and it does remind you this is machine generated, so this is an automatic translation. So it may not be 100% accurate, but it should be accurate enough to get the main points across. Uh, keep in mind, you know, just that there could be some errors 
So just like with the citations, always double check before referencing something. Put that back. You have the ability in the Gale databases to decrease and increase font size depending on what you may need. And they also give you a nice selection of display options in case you need like an overlay or a different font. Maybe you need more word spacing. Anything and everything is available to you here um, to make your research easier and more accessible for you. We have the send to options, the email, the download, the print, just kind of doubling up from the top. Oh, and I missed one. I missed the most interesting one. They have what is essentially an audio format. Rash and fever become an emergency. <laughs> With that beautiful AI-generated voice. Uh, <laughs> it can be nice to be able to listen to some of these articles, uh, maybe while doing something else. Well, um, thank you all so much. Uh, Health and Wellness by Gale, just to close out, is a great database that provides comprehensive access to the latest information on health-related issues. Um, not only is the database incredibly useful, um, but it's just good information for anyone and everyone, whether or not you're doing academic research or if you just need to find firsthand information on something you may be interested in. Uh, not only are there journals, but full text reference works, newspapers, magazines. It really feels like the Gale databases have it all. So again, I want to thank you for tuning into our research highlight video. Um, from everyone here at the Galveston College Library, we hope you have a great day. And thank you so much.